One of the recent drivers of adoption of Ethernet services has been private network or direct connectivity to cloud services. Uh, as customers are increasingly um, consuming private uh, uh, cloud services, uh, public cloud services, or even hybrid cloud services, they have uh, gotten past the phase where they're doing uh, uh, test dev applications and instead are looking to actually deploy their production applications in the cloud. In fact, in many cases, they're deploying multi-cloud solutions to drive resiliency in how they support their end users. While doing so, they want to make sure that they have the performance, uh, uh, confidence in the uh, availability, as well as the security associated with deploying a private network solution. As a consequence, they're coming to providers like Comcast, not merely to provide data center to data center connectivity, but to enable their locations wherever they might be to be able to reach the cloud. And it's not just about their uh, business endpoints, it's also about enabling their users who are working from home, after hours or even telecommuters um, during the workday, making it possible for them to securely access the cloud. By extending our Ethernet footprint to more than a million buildings around the United States, and then um, introducing an Ethernet at home capability, expanding uh, reach for customers to more than 40 million residential addresses around the United States, we're able to build robust cloud solutions and actually uh, dramatically expand adoption for Ethernet services.